Hey, my fellow follow up frontiersmen, it's DJ from Character Brotherhood. Topic hair fibers are probably the best thing at concealing thinning hair and bald spots, but they're not perfect. And so in today's video, I'm gonna tell you about five things that you should avoid doing when you wear your hair fibers. Stay tuned. Keratin Brotherhood is here to help you build confidence in your hair loss through positivity, empathy, and transparency. If you enjoy this content, consider subscribing to the channel and also click the bell for notifications. That way you can be one of the first people to be notified whenever I upload new content. First thing you should avoid when using topic hair fibers is scratching your head. Don't scratch your head if you're using topic hair fibers. And what I mean scratch, I mean like the claw scratch. You know, it's, it's, it's an instinct. You just go and you scratch your head and as soon as you pull your nails down, you remember, oh shit, I got hair fibers in. And you look at your nails, your nails are just full of hair fibers. If I scratch right now, scratch my head, you can actually see the hair fibers under my nail there. Uh, what you can do is you can actually just pat your head like this, okay? You can just pat the area that's itchy like this and that'll actually alleviate some of that itchiness and make it feel a bit more comfortable. If it's still not enough and it's still getting in there and it's still causing you discomfort, then just take your pinky nail or your, one of your nails and just like stab that area or around the area with your nail and just stab it until you feel you know comfortable, until the itch is gone. It's one of the downsides to wearing the hair fibers. Sometimes your head will start itching, especially if you've been wearing the hair fibers for more than a day. Uh, they do tend to cause itchiness, which is why I don't like wearing them past one day. But if you're the type of person who wears them for multiple days at a time, be careful when you scratch your head, okay? The second thing you should avoid when using topic hair fibers is... What the fuck, oh shit, what is the second thing? What is that for you, the second thing you want to avoid when using topic hair fibers is you don't want to breathe in the fibers for obvious reasons. I mean, do you really want to breathe in a foreign substance into your lungs, okay? You don't want to breathe them in. And when I say don't breathe them in, I'm really talking to you guys that like to shake the fibers onto your head. Uh, I, I don't know why people still do this, but they just kind of do like the salt and pepper shaker from like, you know, six to 12 inches above their head and they're just shaking it like this. Guys, that's literally the worst way to apply the fibers, okay? Well, number one, you're wasting fibers everywhere, all right? You get fibers all over the counter, you get fibers all over the floor, you get fibers all over your clothes. If you have a dog, the dog walking around with topic hair fibers in his head, he's probably happy though because he covered up his bald spot. Great job, okay? But now you've wasted fibers. Secondly, you, you, you got fibers flying in the sky, man. Don't shake the fibers like this, right? Don't do that. Use tap and pull, all right? Just tap and pull just like this. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put a link up here where you can click and watch how I apply my topic hair fibers using the tap and pull method, right? It's really effective at applying the fibers. And not only that, you don't have to worry about wasting fibers all over the counter and the floor. And you don't have to worry about fibers flying in the sky, okay? If you don't know how to do that, check the video out. The third thing you should avoid when using topic hair fibers is obviously water. Water is the mortal enemy for any hair fiber. I don't care if it's Kaboki, if it's Topic, Febron. Water is the mortal enemy for all, any hair fiber, which is why I always suggest using an oil-based pomade or some kind of oil product in your hair so that you have some type of resistance. Remember, oil and water don't mix. Okay, so the oil pomade actually repels the water that you know that comes in contact with your hair. You don't want to go out on a rainy day, obviously. You don't want to go surfing or swimming in the ocean with top hair fibers in because you're gonna have a bad time. The oil products that I suggested to you uh, in this video here, they all were great at creating some kind of water resistant, but they're not completely waterproof. If you're looking for ways to increase the water resistance of your hair fibers, then I'll go ahead and put the video link up here. You can click that video and you can also see my water test that shows you the durability of how great the oil works at protecting the fibers. The fourth thing that you want to avoid when using topic hair fibers is you don't want to just put your head anywhere or lay your head anywhere. All right, and this includes pillows, couches, car seats, floors, gym, a bench, what all this stuff. You don't want to put your head just anywhere because what'll happen is if the surface that you put the surface that you put your head in is any type of like cotton, like a pillowcase or maybe a couch. Uh, you're going to actually strip away some of the fibers by rubbing your head on it. Uh, that's why I also I always recommend when you go to sleep, if you don't want to wash the fibers out and you want to keep them in, put like a do rag on or maybe like a wave cap. This type of material would actually prevent the fibers from being stripped away. And if you wear the wave cap or a do rag, it'll actually just you know protect the fibers and they'll stay input. Stay input. They'll stay put. <laughs> they'll stay put until the next day when you wake up or right? you have to do a little touch up, but it's not a big deal. Be careful if you're going to your friend's house and they have like a white couch, don't lay your head on the couch, okay? Because you're gonna leave a big black spot and then you have to explain why your friend's couch now has a big black spot and you might lose a friend. And the fifth thing that you should avoid doing when you have topic hair fibers in is wearing a hat. 
Now, if you're the type of guy that likes to wear like the snapback caps uh, on your head, um, I'm not saying don't wear them. What I'm saying is you don't want to put the hat on where it's like actually rubbing up against your head. What will end up happening is you'll pull the fibers down onto your forehead and then you have to like wipe them off or you might actually, you know, have the back of the hat rub up against your hair and then it kind of strips away the fibers. So uh, if you do, if you do need to wear uh, the type of like a, a hat that's cold outside like a beanie, what I recommend is putting on a wave cap first to, you know, to protect the fibers and then putting the hat on top of the wave cap. Okay, or if you want to go straight 1990s, early 2000s, you know, some jagged edge, you can just put the do rag on and then put the snap back on top. That's your thing. It's not mine. Okay, but I'm not going to judge you if you do it. So, there you have it, guys. It's five things that you should avoid when using topic hair fibers. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed today's content, click that subscribe button. DJ from Keratin Brotherhood. See you guys in the next video.